So in this final video clip we're going to look at how the amplifier functions as a whole in terms of its input and output characteristics. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject a very small sinusoidal waveform at an audio frequency of 1 kilohertz into the amplifier and see how the amplifier responds to that. It's a very small signal, it's 3 millivolts peak value here and we'll follow that signal through so at the input it gets applied to the capacitor it's a change in voltage, a bit small capacitor's pass changes so that will flow through the capacitor and onto the base of the transistor the transistor is already on potential divider bias here turning the transistor on this small positive increase will turn the transistor on slightly more uh, which will increase the current flowing through the base which will have a significant increase in current in the collector so effectively the signal will be passed through to the collector if you imagine opening a tap the resistance between here and here reduces slightly as the valve opens so that means the pressure or the electrical pressure or voltage here will drop uh, that change in voltage will be passed through a capacitor and so on the output we'll see the resulting drop in the output voltage. The main difference is of course being that it's a significant amplification from the beginning where we started off with 3 millivolts and we now have a swing of minus 3 volts. In the second clip we'll look what happens when we put the positive half cycle in.